Welcome to another toy episode. Today we're going to be reviewing the McFarlane Superpowers Blue Beetle. I found this guy a couple of days ago at Target. I'm very excited. I get to pair him up with Booster Gold and his uh, shuttle or ship, the uh, Blue Bug. Uh, let's get right into the articulation. Now, if you have a Superpowers figure from McFarlane, you're, you know what to expect. It's going to be the same articulation. The head will turn all the way around. The arms all the way around as well. Legs will go up this much. Will go back up this much. We have knee articulation so you can sit. You do have pegs in the bottom so you can use the McFarland stance, which is pretty cool. And the belt looks like it's sculpted in. That's pretty awesome. And then the the emblem for the blue beetle is actually raised. That's pretty cool. The paint apps are pretty crisp. So no complaints here. Let's bring out his uh, his bug or whatever it's called, the shuttle, and see how he fits in there. Okay, so there's Blue Beetle there in the uh, driver's seat. And that booster gold on hand to uh, insert him in there, but this is how he looks inside as he's driving. Really cool features. I really like that. And let's hook him up to the bottom of the, the shuttle or the bug to see uh, how he handles uh, the handlebar that deploys on the bottom of the ship. Let's take a look. So it's pretty cool how he hangs. He holds the, the handles pretty well because he does have open hands. In fact, um, I wish all of the McFarlane superpowers either came with weapons or at least open hands so you can put something on there. A lot of figures that have closed hands, such as Batman, so he can't even use a, a Batarang, uh, which is unfortunate, but overall this is great. And now let's do a little bit of uh, some size comparisons. And there he is uh, with the Absorbing Man. As you can see, he's much taller than Blue Beetle, which is pretty cool. I think for the most part, I want the, the villains to be taller than the good guys, right? And here he is next to the uh, Spin Masters Batman Return. Uh, as you can see, it's a smaller size in scale. I love this figure. I did rip out the cape to add the uh, Kenner cape on there. Looks much better. Speaking of Kenner, here is the Shadow Wing Batman. I did add a uh, custom emblem. Uh, but size-wise, they're they're pretty much about the same. I think Batman's a little bit bigger. So it looks like uh, McFarlane's listening to to his customers about the uh, scaling. Scaling's getting much better. Um, I think it's an awesome figure. Did you guys pick this one up? Did you guys pass? Leave me a comment. Please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next two episodes.